Um, hello, welcome to Purple Sofa on Fun Friday today. I'm here with Luca, our hello. tech savvy account exec, yep. um, who's been running one of our VR campaigns for over a year now, is that right? Yeah, so I've yeah. been on it for a little over a year and then the campaign itself has been running since September 2016. Oh, amazing campaign, it's been nationwide and we're saying VR, we're not deliberately being secretive here. Oh, we? no, we're not. The campaign is white label, so we can't mention it. So nothing, you can't give me anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing so <sighs> Okay, <laughs> not gonna work, not gonna work. Um, so nationwide, um, it's been going across 14 re retailers and we are doing all of the activations in store for the product and also the sales as well. Yep. Um, so in terms of results then, I've had some amazing stats being built around the office in terms of coverage, issue rates, Come on, blow your own trumpet. Um, so in regards to coverage, we've had about 98% coverage rate across the That's campaign. That's phenomenal. Is, yeah, so we really made sure to have like a fantastic like um, pool of staff that yeah. trained as reserves. So and that's over, for my, over, over well over 5,000 staff. Oh yeah, and it's well over like 5,000 staff in days. So wow. yeah, we're doing pretty well. It can be stressful at times, but we get there. <laughs> of course. And sales as well as yeah. part of the campaign. Yeah. So basically, when it started, initially started, it was more about brand awareness and uh -huh. kind of just uh, getting people to kind of explore this yep. new tech. Um, now, of course, we are kind of moving into this kind of. Sales we don't sales have sales set sales targets, however the team do really well. Um, over Christmas it was crazy, I think we were just making a lot, I can't really think of a specific number, but we're making but a lot, lot of sales. Yeah. Brilliant lot. news, okay, exciting. So, um, well thank you so much, that's been a really good insight. Um, and, and regarding sort of the future then of VR, mm. looking forward, give mm. us your kind of vision for the future and what VR is going to hold. Well, yeah, it's changed a lot already. Hasn't like, it? It's, I remember, it's, mad, it's everywhere now, isn't it? And I remember actually when it first came out, it was like this kind of gimmicky, kind of new new thing that was being shoehorned a lot into projects. Mm -hmm. But now it's a lot more about the content, the quality, yeah, so and I the think, story. Yeah, exactly. So quality will definitely get better. Also, you're going to be it's used more, you can use it now even in like a um, kind of like people trying to sell houses, they can literally put on a VR headset yeah. and like you know see what the house is going to look like without actually visiting mm -hmm. it. In regards to kind of gaming wise, like it's, it is moving into esports, so it is uh, some companies are partnering up with other like gaming yeah. uh, teams to kind of get it out there and onto hardcore gamers laps and stuff like that. So, and you're a hardcore gamer as well. I do like games, yes, I do play them a lot. So that's good. You'll be getting a headset soon as well. Uh, definitely, 100%. <laughs> Great, well, thank you so much for joining us, um, and hopefully, you enjoyed the insight that we were able to share. Yeah.